Okay, so the Google Play Games beta recently released Wotiv, and it was the only game that I actually play that was released for it. So I decided to give it a try, and I had a lot of footage, and maybe I'll still use some of that footage, but, you know... Honestly, the impression that I got from it was, it works without crashing, however, it is so incredibly laggy that you have to turn the graphics all the way down, you have to turn, like, animations off, all of that stuff, and maybe you do some of that stuff already. But my biggest complaint is probably the addition that it only, it can't play in windowed mode, so it's always full screen, and if you're trying to be on Discord or do something else, then that's kind of awkward in a way that a windowed mode, which it just doesn't have, uh, wouldn't be. But another problem, there's a lot of like add-ons and additional things. You can multi-instance with blue stocks. There's a built-in macro setting. It is a fully functional version of the uh, Android application operating system. So if you want to get an outside multi-clicker that you already use um, on your phone, not saying that that is uh, quite TOS friendly, but, you know, it's a way to reduce grind for some people who just don't have the time to manually skip through raids. You can't really do that with Google Play Games, but ultimately the reason that I am getting rid of Google Play Games on my computer is it's a big fucking file, and I'm a YouTuber, I make a lot of content, I naturally run out of hard drive space faster than anyone. So if there's anyone who doesn't want a multi-gigabyte and utterly redundant and superfluous and not really that much better program on my computer, I'm getting rid of it. Although, arguably, because it does crash less than Bluestacks while kind of running less good and not running as good at high speeds and all of those things, technically, I guess, for if you're really trying to grind out long sessions on your computer and you're okay with your computer being able to do literally nothing else, unless I guess you're background farming, I mean, and that's kind of true for phones too, then you probably want Bluestacks instead. So. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to uninstall Google Play Games beta. It may get better in the future, but for right now, I can definitively tell you in under three minutes that it's probably not worth your time. Oh, also, the other thing that I thought that this might be cool for is for computers like... I have three laptop. Well, I have two laptops and a tablet, and they're all in various ages, and some of them get really old and really kind of decrepit. None of them, except for my main laptop, can run Bluestacks. I think one of them, one of the laptops actually can, but not very well, and it hasn't been able to run it very well lately. But it used to be able to pretty well. Neither the tablet nor that laptop can run Google Play Games Beta, and I had to install some extra shit on my normal computer. I already have Steam. Like, I had to install shit in addition to Steam's, already rigorous requirements. I think it was hyper virtualization, which you can also use for blue stacks. Um, but anyways, I was hoping that even if it didn't perform well, that there might be a silver lining that it could work on older or more compact or less expensive devices. And it seems like it's kind of the opposite. So really the only silver lining is in the limited amount that I tested it compared to Bluestacks, it crashed less. Will it get better in the future? Maybe. Will it crash? Will you know? Will it crashing less than Bluestacks in the future be a more important point? Maybe. But as of right now, and probably still while it's in beta, no. You shouldn't waste your time with this.